WhatsApp coders. If you ever wanted to analyze YouTube comments, this video is going to help you learn how to download YouTube comments and how to do sentiment analysis for those same YouTube comments you just downloaded using state of the art machine learning models. So this is an end to end video where I'm going to teach you starting from downloading the video, doing sentiment analysis, getting the result as a pandas data frame and then doing some kind of visualization on top of it. And for this entire thing, we're going to use a library called OPC. OPC is a library that has been created by Lalit Pagaria. So this code that I'm going to use is directly from the example that they've mentioned in the repository. So code credit, this is not my own code, but I've taken it and then I started, uh, you know, you like I've, I've done some changes to suit it for my use case here. But this code is originally written by Lalit. So OPC is like a platform that helps you do certain things. What are those certain things? You can set up workflows where you observe or like let's say you've got a source where you want to collect data, textual data from different sources. Could be Reddit, could be Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, App Store, Play Store, Google Maps, Google News, email and website. And after you collect it, you can analyze it. When, when we say analyze it, it's usually typical NLP task. You can do sentiment analysis, you can do classification, whatever you want to do. And after you do all these things, there are, there are separate different ways where you can publish it. You can send it to a database, you can send it to an API call, you can store it in ES, um, Elasticsearch, publish it as a dashboard reporting, or simply send this as an email or Slack. Imagine you are a brand, you have just released a YouTube video and you want to understand what people talk about. Not just that you want to understand what people talk about, but you also want to know either the sentiment or you know can you categorize into particular categories for example let's say i'm a mobile phone company there is mkbhd doing reviews of my phone i would definitely want to know what those users who are commenting on mkbhd's video mkbhd is marcus Brownlee. if you do not know maybe you don't exist on youtube so i want to know what marcus Brownlee's fans are commenting on that particular video which might go into my product future roadmap so for all these things all you need is OPC and I'm going to show you end to end how to do that. So the way this video is structured is I've, I'm not writing code in front of you. Like I said, I've taken the code that already is available. So I'm going to take you through the code line by line so that you know what is happening in every step and you can also create this for your own use case. So the video as this title says, you can, you will learn to download YouTube comments and then do sentiment analysis using state of the art NLP model. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is you need to install OPC and um, when I was trying OPC and Google Collab, I also hit date parser dependency issue. So I'm just trying to make sure that I'm installing OPC and date parser. If you want to do any sort of logging, then you can you can uncomment this line of code and then you can do it. But I'm printing everything on my Jupyter notebook, so I'm not doing any logging. So I don't need this. The next thing that you need to do is as we just discussed, OPC has got always the three step observe, which is also source and analyze and inform. So the first thing that we want is we want to define the source. What is our source? Our source is a YouTube scrapper. So we want a YouTube scrapper source and we want to have YouTube scrapper config. So every source comes with a config so that you know what, what is the kind of source that you want to do. You can configure it here. The next thing that we want is we want to set up the analyzer. In, in our case, we are going to do a zero shot classification model and we're going to use a zero shot classification model to do sentiment analysis. If you do not know anything about zero shot model, especially you know that are hosted on Hugging Face, I would definitely give you a link of my previous video where you can learn how to use zero shot classification model. But if you are not interested in that, just you want to do the zero shot classification model to do sentiment analysis, just stick to this video, you'll, you'll get to do that thing. Next again, if you want to do logging, then you can uncomment this and use. I'm not doing logging, so I've kept it commented. The same way for OPC uh, source, we imported the scraper source and the scraper config. You're going to do a classification analyzer config and you are also importing the actual analyzer itself. The next thing is you want to define the video URL for which you want to comment the scrape the comments. Interestingly, Lex Friedman just dropped a new podcast where Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Meta or formerly known as Facebook, talks about a lot of interesting things. I'm, 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 you can see that I'm mid, somewhere in the middle of the podcast, I've not finished it, 
but while i was watching this podcast suddenly i thought that you know mark zuckerberg is somebody who gets a lot of negative uh, press a lot of negative comments even one of the questions that let's lex asks mark is you know why do people hate you so much so i want to go through the comments and then see do really people do really people hate mark zuckerberg or is it you know a small cohort of people who are online trolls who are trying to do that so to do that i'm using this video url for my current use case that's the video url then i have to specify the youtube scraper config so th- the video url goes in here do i want to fetch replies do i want to you know take the replies as well no i don't want what are the maximum amount of comments that you want to collect so in just to keep it simple i'm just collecting 20 comments but based on your use case you can increase it currently there is no right answer or upper limit for that just just make sure that you know youtube doesn't ban your ip and also the look up period like how far you want to go there could be some video like 10 years old maybe you want to just you know go go all the way so just make sure that um, uh, you strike a balance between the maximum comments and look up period also make sure that you don't get banned on facebook um sorry youtube what did i say facebook after you do that the next thing that you need to do is you need to select the source so you have configured right so here you can see that you have configured the youtube scraper and that goes inside source config after you do that you have to, you have to instantiate the object called source using the youtube scraper source the next thing is quite simple keep this object source and then look up using the source config you just defined above and this is going to have the list of comments that we have scraped i'm going to just print it for you to see i'm not you know as you can see that i've already run this i'm going to just print it let me close this in fact and i can i can simply run this and then you can see what are the comments that are available so you can see that the, this is the comment id and this is the actual text and i'm not sure if you get to see the people who comment yeah you you get to see a lot of information you get to see a lot of information and uh, who's the commentator like like author so you you get to see all these things right you basically understand that whatever you wanted you can see like number of votes um like if there is any photo all these things okay so now that we know that we have successfully managed to scrape the comments from youtube video what is the next step we need to get into analyzing it we want to use the state of the art machine learning model or near state of the art machine learning model to do sentiment analysis and the way we are going to do sentiment analysis for this particular project is using a zero shot classification analyzer so zero shot classification we are going to extract the model from hugging face model hub so we are going to define a text analyzer using zero shot and classification analyzer and you are going to specify from where the model should come after you do that now you have to configure the actual zero shot classification analyzer itself which means zero shot classification can be done to classify the text into any class that you want so we are using the zero shot classification model to classify the text into positive and negative i can change this to say you know yes or no i can change this to say you know um something that is like racist not racist i can change this to say that something that is informative not informative i can do anything that i want right now let's stick to positive and negative maybe after we do this first exercise i can show you how things change like if 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 we use a different label but for now we are using the zero shot classification model directly downloaded from hugging face model hub and we are going to use that model to classify the text that we have got where does our text come from it is already present inside source response list so the output which is was which was stored in source response list is given inside this and also we are class configuring the analyzer itself so we are saying that these are the two labels that we want to classify you can you can either use positive or simply negative or you can also do positive negative neutral depending upon the use case you can do it but i'm just it doesn't matter a lot i'm just sticking to positive and negative after we done this once we run this thing now i can show you the output how does it look so once i run this you can see that like there is a this is a positive comment this is nearly a negative comment then there is a po- negative comment and there is a positive comment then positive positive negative 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 so you can see that's a mix so maybe you want to go through the text and then see which one is negative okay so i can i can either go scroll down here and then see all these things but you know what as a data scientist it is always easier if you have a pandas data frame wouldn't you feel that you know like 
एनी टाइम आई गेट समथिंग आई एम ऑलवेज हैप्पीयर इफ आई हैव अ टैबल और डेटा सेट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू कन्वर्ट दिस वॉट एवर यू हैव हियर इन साइड द एनालाइजर रिस्पॉन्स लिस्ट इन टू अ पांडास डेटा फ्रेम फॉर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू इम्पोर्ट फर्स्ट मे बी है फ्रॉम पांडास इम्पोर्ट डेटा फ्रेम एंड फ्रॉम ओपसी डॉट सिंक डॉट पांडा सिंक so if you remember i said opc can inform into multiple forms and one of the things that we are using is a pandas data frame you can use the same uh, same informing thing into like a jira ticket or a slack message or an email maybe you want to tweet you can do all those things but right now we are going to try to take this output whatever we have got here and make it a pandas data frame as usual you need to import two things one is pandas sync the second one is pandas sync config and inside pandas sync config you're going to simply specify that i want to create a data frame if you want to include some columns exclude some columns this is the place where you have to define that configuration and as we saw in the last two sections you're going to initiate or instantiate an object that has that that is called sync using pandas sync after you run this then now all you have to do is say sync dot send data imagine like you are sending it to slack or anywhere sync dot send data in this case it is going to be a pandas data frame you going to take the output which is called analyzer response list and then you are going to use the sync config that you already created and then store it to a data frame and at this point you have got a data frame that is the output of the comments that you extracted so what kind of columns that you have got We've got process text, which is the actual comment. Whether it is like if it is positive, what is a what is a uh, you know log um, likelihood or probability? Negative, what is it? What is a comment ID? What is the actual text? What was it commented? Who commented the author? Like in this case, Lex Friedman put out the timeline time stamps. So this is one of the comments. Do do they have a channel? How many votes the comment has got? Is there any photo associated? did anybody love the sent the heart to it and you have got all this information so now if i want to just look at negative all i have to do is come here and click um yeah so i can i can use this data frame let me let me go here and then say import pandas as pd and then i can say my data frame in my data frame okay i am going to say um log data frame oops sorry data frame and yeah so i i can i can look for a negative which is let's say let's say like greater than 5 okay negative greater than 0.5 and then run this and now i'm going to, oh it's a uh, it's a string okay so i have to convert the font the type so i i, I wrongly assumed that it is a float i'm going to convert this into a float and then run this as you can see now we have successfully managed to filter the data frame so we have extracted everywhere where the negative comments was more than 0.5 so now if you see the comments you can see mark is dead psycho so you can see the model has correctly classified this as like 100% negative and then you can you can see you know everything that is um something talks about bullshit so you have got 0.97 so you can see the model is actually working so this is like the due diligence that you are doing before you know you popularize it to the entire world saying that oh i've got a model um, where i've, uh, I've analyzed mark zuckerberg's comments so before you do that just trying to make sure that um, your model has done a good job so i'm literally using my eyes and going through the comments to make sure that the negative ones are actually negative i can do the same thing for positive but you know just just to save your time i'm not doing that but if you are going to use this to publish some kind of insight make sure that you do that so right now we have successfully learned how to collect the data we have learned how to analyze the data which means like we have built a zero shot classification model i mean we have used zero shot classification model and classified the comment into positive or negative and then finally we have got a pandas data frame so now just for the sake of fun why don't we build a simple bar chart using this data frame to see how the comment spread distribution looks like so i've got the data frame inside that i'm going to use positive and then maybe you know i should use negative yeah i should use negative and then say we we have imported 20 comments right so out of 20 comments let's see how it looks so if i run this 
you can probably see yeah out of this 20 you can see very few comment very few uh, positive comments you can see most of them are negative so which means the the usual hypothesis that mark zuckerberg gets a lot of negativity when uh, whenever his videos come out online or press wherever it is he gets a lot of negativity i think it, it I, i'm not establishing a causality here but but i think i think it looks like it is um and i can do more analysis if you want so right now let's say we have done positive or negative i want to quickly show you if i want to change the labels let's say instead of just doing positive and negative instead of even doing sentiment analysis i want to say um something that is informative okay whether this comment was informative or whether the comment was um absurd like completely useless okay i'm going to now run this run this run this run this run this run this and i'm going to i'm going to see the data frame so right now my data frame looks like this and what is the column name the column name is informative and then i've got why, why did i have positive did i i think i should run this again yeah i i, I think it didn't manage to get it maybe informative and use less okay let me run this yes i can i can do let, let it finish i can do the analysis and you can see okay it has i think it is still retained a couple of previous ones but you can see informative negative useless positive positive informative do we have anything that is useless so there are certain informative comments so this is how you basically change the labels and then you you try to do some extra classification um other than just simply doing a sentiment classification let's say you are a brand you want to know whether the comment is about brand or you want to know whether the comment is about uh, technology you want to know whether the comment is about your customer service so you can have different classes and then you can categorize them into particular classes and finally you can you can do data science insights analysis charts dashboard whatever you want so you have successfully in this video um this video would be probably about you know 15 to 20 minutes but in this 15 to 20 minutes you have successfully learned how to scrape or download youtube comments for free do state of the art machine learning model to do sentiment analysis nlp and you also learned how to publish the data set as a pandas data frame and additionally you also learned a little bit about doing using simply using pandas plotting function to plot a bar chart or line chart whatever you want so if i simply say plot it would plot a line chart but if i want a bar chart i can just simply say plot dot bar and then i would get a bar chart to understand what is the negativity that mark zuckerberg gets uh, i mean this is really really bad right imagine i put out a video and i get all this negativity i mean i do get but if 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 i am at this level i don't know how will i get up wake up the next morning motivated it's 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 a, it's a it's a very difficult business i i can i can really really feel for mark zuckerberg um but thanks to lalit pagaria um who helped us analyze this video especially because i was watching the podcast from lex friedman to understand what kind of comments a youtube video gets and what kind of sentiment analysis we can do using opsi opsi is an amazing tool i would strongly recommend you to check out opsi you can set up your own workflow schedule it using github actions just enjoy the results every day that you can get maybe you can set up a twitter bot maybe you can get a slack message it could be your internal external hobby project enterprise project you can do any of those things if you have any feedback about this video directly reach out to me i would love to hear your feedback if you have got any feedback for the product opsi you should definitely reach out to lalit lalit would be very happy to hear what you think about the project the product and then how you want to use it so i hope this video was helpful to you understanding a little bit about opsi but we focus more on the use case and then we managed to do that end to end youtube comment sentiment analysis i'll see you in the next video stay safe happy coding